Hey there, it's Angela Rasmus. I'm the business and life mentor and the founder of the Self Worth Institute. And today I want to have a quick chat with you about responding to the thing that is calling you. Now, this thought came about after having a conversation with a very good colleague and friend of mine over in America. Now, both of us were talking about the thing that has been asking for our attention. It's our next chapters that we're building right alongside the businesses that we currently have. Now, this friend of mine started getting a little bit concerned. She was sharing the thoughts that were coming up about am I doing the right thing this new phase that I'm moving into I'm a bit scared and the voice inside of me is, is telling me to be cautious and, and what do I think I'm doing and is this a good idea I shared with her the concept of Helga and the knitting. Let me explain what I mean by that. Now, I often talk about how we have an inner critic who is inside of us and whose job, as far as she's concerned, is 100% all about keeping us safe. Now, Helga, who I call my particular inner critic, I have this vision of her sitting in the corner, literally doing her knitting. She is completely relaxed as long as I am staying in my comfort zone, in my zone of familiarity, not taking any chances or any risks but the moment that she senses me walking towards a growth edge stepping into something new where there is some risk involved where I may be judged where I don't have all the pieces yet where my ducks are not all lined up in a row that's when Helga slams down the knitting comes screaming into the center of the room and starts wagging her finger at me and telling me all the ways in which I will fail well, that was the experience my friend is having at the moment as well. Her Helga, sensing that she is nearing that zone of stepping into something new, she is definitely throwing down her knitting and having a lot to say. And perhaps that happens with you as well. Perhaps your own Helga is trying to keep you safe, and that is stopping you from stepping into your own next chapter. Well, my friends and I talked about the fact that these things that we're looking to build, in my case, the Self-Worth Institute that has the first iteration out there in the world at the moment, these are not new ideas. These are ideas and callings that have been in the back of our, of our heads and then definitely in the middle of our hearts for quite a long time. For various reasons, it wasn't appropriate to bring them front and center, but now it is. And perhaps you've experienced that as well. If there is something that keeps tapping you on the shoulder, a new way of showing up, a new service, a different perspective, a bit of a pivot, a very popular word at the moment. If any of those things are things that have kept asking to be seen, consistently coming back, then it is time for you to get that courage and take that step forward, regardless of what your Helga is saying to you. Now, just one extra bit that I want to share with you here is the idea that you don't need to burn your bridges. You can build your bridges. By that, I mean you can set up a step between where you are now and where you want to be. That still brings part of your current business or your current experience with you. You don't have to throw it all away. So I want to give you that little piece of reassurance. But I know for sure that we can't continue doing the thing we're doing and trying to ignore the thing that's calling. None of us want to get to a, a, a later stage in life. You know, looking back when we're 70, 80, 90, wondering what would have happened if I tried that? You'll always leave this little piece of your heart behind if you don't ignore your Helga and step forward and at least give that thing a try. Is there a guarantee that it'll work out? No, there's not. But is there a guarantee that it won't? Equally not. And if your heart accompanied by your head and your gut are all aligned together, if you are focused on being of service, on be, of being useful, of adding value to the world, then your chances of this succeeding are really high. So just like my friends and I, please gather up that courage, step forward into that next chapter and let us know how you go. So that's my thought for the day. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will talk to you again very soon. Take care.